awareness building. Now we talked about the traditional approach being predict, perform, feedback. You still want to have the person participate in activities. Yes, that's part of our therapy sessions. But a better approach is to plan, perform feedback. But we need to modify the feedback as well. We're, going to, we're not going to have them predict. Don't have them predict how well they're going to perform because now you're focusing on their performance, all right? Instead, have them plan. Planning for, we're going to do this cooking activity, all right? What is it that you think might be difficult for you and how do you think you can make that easier, all right? Or, you know, we're going to, we're going to walk around the block. What is it about that that's going to be difficult for you? Um, how are you going to make that easier for yourself? So right away you're planning and you're incorporating this idea of strat compensatory strategies. What are you going to do to make this easier for you? And then you have them perform the activity and then you give them feedback. But again, the feedback is not on their performance. The feedback is on small discrepancies. So you can say, well, you know, you could have done this or, or you did this, but if you had just done this, all right? So you give them that feedback in a way that is emphasizing small discrepancies and focusing on their effort, not on their performance. I saw you try to do this. That's a good idea. Now you could have done this as well, all right? So you kind of add to what it is that they try. Um, you also should be looking at functional, meaningful activities, preferably in a familiar environment, if you can. I know you can't always, all right? You try to translate as much as possible to a familiar environment if you can't get them in a familiar environment. Because of course, familiar environment, you talk to clients, quite often that helps them have some of those aha moments.